Hello Pisces is with a general reading for the sign of Pisces. It's a pleasure to be here and I welcome you to this table. Just a reminder that this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone because we all have different natal charts and we're all moving at different speeds. We're moving um, in different ways through our experiences and we're living all around the world within different cultures. So just a reminder that this may not resonate with each and every one of you, but hopefully there's something here that will help you in your journey forward. So I'm gonna begin reading now. Um, and the first step to that is to shuffle. So for those of you who do not like the shuffling, just move forward in the video to where the reading begins. So the first um, step is to look at your current energy. Your current energy is um, a good, it is a good place for you to listen to see if this could possibly be for you. It is not a guarantee, um, but it is a helpful tool for you. And it does help you also to realize um, maybe if you've been confused and maybe clear up some things that you've been dealing with in the current time period. So let's go ahead and see what energies are there here for you. What are the energies here for you? Beautiful Pisces people, for the Pisces people that are here. What are the energies that are here for Pisces and the current energy? Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for the sign of Pisces. All right, let's look at the future next immediate energy. When we talk about the next immediate energy, we are talking about um, the next phase in this cycle for you, the next phase, the next step in whatever you're experiencing. Um, it may be in the next couple of weeks. It may be in the next month. It just depends on what your situation is. But this, um, from our perspective, is going to be um, the next immediate wave of energy for those who resonate with this, we all know that we cannot, in a general reading, um, forecast this exactly for each and every one of you. And we ask you to not make any life decisions based upon a general reading or any tarot reading for, for that matter. But hopefully this forecast will help you in planning for the future. Next immediate phase, the next immediate time period. And now let's look at some guidance here. I'll pull out two or three cards for guidance. It's always good to look at guidance because it does offer some helpful tips. All right, so before I get started, I just want to remind everyone that there will be an extended reading that is offered at the end of this reading. The link to that reading will be in the information section below the video, and that reading will have um, a look at the people who are around you, and um, when we mean by R is we mean that um, this will resonate with, with some of you. Again, this is still an extended reading. This is still a general reading. It is not a personal reading, but um, people who have been listening to those have found those to be reliable and helpful. And so I am um, gaining confidence in this as we move forward. Now, also, we'll look at three additional phases of energy. And you could talk about this being in months or being in weeks. Um, but I hesitate to declare that because, as we know, um, time is different for each and every one of us. And if we are um, a Pisces with a Sagittarius moon, we are going to move differently in our relationships and with our feelings than somebody who is a Capricorn moon who will move much slower. So it is um, necessary for you to understand your natal chart, for you to look that up. Um, there will be a link below 
we will have um, Julia add that into the information center, into the information box for you. Um, but now let's go ahead and get on with this reading. So let's turn this over because this has been flipped over the whole time. So we start with the Queen of Wands. The next energy that is here is a Seven of Cups. The next energy is a Hanged Man. This did come in um, crossways when it flipped down onto the table. I'm not sure if you saw that, but I do feel that um, it is in um, the upright. It can be in the reverse, and that is for you to tell because it's just a matter of time with a Hanged Man. Um, if the Hanged Man is in reverse, it, it tells us mostly that everything is moving forward now, that there is no longer delay and there's no more a need to look at alternative perspectives, that it is now moving forward. So it's kind of up to you to also realize that these energies can be turned on their head if that is your case. Part of listening to tarot readings and using the tarot tool is to become learned in it and understand it and to not just... Um, take what readers say, but to also learn what the cards say and learn what they mean. And that is part of my journey here is to help you understand uh, what this tool is and how it can affect your life. So let's move forward with the Queen of Wands. Now with the Queen of Wands, she's a vibrant character. She could be a woman or a man. It does not matter. Most of the time she is a woman, but she can be, he can be a man as well. It is an internal energy of vibrancy, of passion, of, um, of, of a spirited sense of urgency, of a spirited energy within her. Um, she is very intuitive. She can be um, very, she can be cold and calculated if she wishes to, if she is in a negative space or if she is full of fear, if she is worried about something, she can be um, quite abrupt in how she speaks. But when she's in a good space and when things are going well and she has a strong mindset about what she's doing, and usually the Queen of Wands does, Queen of Wands here feels good to me. The Queen of Wands here is a queen who has really learned how to find um, passion within herself, how to build that flame, build that fire within herself, even though it's been a struggle, even though she has struggled. So this is someone who is a victor. This is somebody who has conquered life or conquered themselves. This is a person that I see here that's representing you, Pisces, and it tells me that you have been through some really difficult journeys in your life because the Queen of Wands isn't here because she was born to be the Queen of Wands. She isn't here because she was named the Queen of Wands. She's here because she has earned the title of the Queen of Wands, and this is what is being bestowed upon you today, my friends, is a Queen of Wands energy, and it is a beautiful energy to behold, and she is passionate and she has power. Now, does she take action? Queen of Wands is a feeling within us. It's a feeling that we have. It's a feeling that comes across in our voice when we talk. It's a feeling that comes across through our eyes when we look at each other and through our smile and through the way that we think about our worlds and the way that we think about the actions that we will be taking as we move forward. As we know, the King of Wands is more apt to take action. And sometimes we say that the King of Wands then it can be a female. That's just part of tarot that sometimes we don't understand. These energies can filter over anybody and, and any kind of experience that we have going on around us. So the Queen of Wands is here, and she is in a, in a very passionate place. She's feeling vibrant about her life. She is getting up the urges. She is, is, she is building the urges within her to take action, but she's looking at a situation that has a lot of options. And when we look at these options, when we look at these different cups, we don't always know what's exactly inside the options, what is inside the alternatives and with inside the different ways that we can move forward, because we don't really can't, we don't really we aren't really able to see, see into the future, are we? Although we say that we can, and there are readers here that we think we can, we ultimately cannot see what's in the future for each and every one of us. I cannot, for myself, see what's ahead for me in my future. And nor would I want to sometimes, because we can then de destruct what we're trying to create. But this tells me here with Pisces that there is some options here for you, and you might have had some time where you've been stalling and not really able to make a decision because it's really hard to move forward and make choices when we don't know the future. And sometimes not knowing the future and thinking that we should have to know the future, that we should be able to know the future keeps us still. It keeps us still because we aren't able to choose because we're fearful of the choices that we make. But remember, this is the Queen of Wands. She has confidence now. 
because she has been through the trench of life and she has learned lessons about that trench and about those journeys that she's been on. So I ask you now, my friends, to remember who you are and what you've learned and to continue to build that flame within yourself because these options that I see here are not, um, they're pretty exciting to me. I mean, I see jewelry. Some of you might have something to do with jewelry. I see um, a face here in one of them, if you can see. I see um, a, a figure that is covered in a white film. We're not sure what's in that figure, but it looks like someone is meditating. Um, I see a snake and um, we all know that sometimes what we fear to be true is not exactly all what we think it is. Sometimes what we think is jewelry when we dig down into the cup is not always jewelry. So this is not meant to scare us, but this is meant to show us that if we're, if we are feeling, um, unsure about the future, that it's always important to research it, to dig deeper into, into it, to maybe ask around about it, to dig deep into how you feel about it. And that's why we have the hangman here. There is a need here to really take a, take a look and maybe take a pause because the queen of wands is ready to go. She is fueled up and ready to go. These are energies here that create stillness in her life when she's fueled. So whatever this is for you, where you have options and choices and decisions to make, it's always necessary if you're not sure to take, take some time and really dig deep and figure out why are you not sure? What is it about these options and these choices that makes you unsure? Right? Because when we're unsure, it really means that we feel unbalanced about something. And that means that, that there's something that is out of, um, out of balance with how we feel with the steadiness of our feet on the ground below us. So there is something here that is probably asking you to look deeper into it or that your soul or your heart is asking you to take a pause. And I think that that's perfectly fine. We see here with the seven of swords that there is something here that's causing you to make some changes in your life. And that's why it is there next to the hanged man, because these changes that you have been through this betrayal or this hardship that you've been through is part of this journey. And it's part of the hanged man It's part of the requirement of looking at something in a different way. So I think this is a really necessary place for you to be Pisces. I have been here myself. I have been here recently, in fact, so I can really identify with these energies um, I can identify with the energies of betrayal. I can, I can identify with the energies of needing to revise a way that we've been thinking. Sometimes I've had to revise the way I've been thinking, um, too in my life. And so there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it is really something that is done with courage and, and with bravery and with honesty within ourselves. And it's truly how we find new success in our lives and new beautiful transformation. If we can look deeper within ourselves and see um, what has happened to us, why we need to revise our lives and then take time to really look at things from all the different perspectives so we can see things in a way that will be helpful or helpful for us as we move forward. So I know that was a bit long winded, but these are some difficult energies that we see here, although they are beautiful energies because they are what will allow you to move forward in a, um, in a, a truly abundant way as you journey ahead. So yes, it is long winded, but these are long winded energies. Anyway, the hanged man is quite long winded. The seven of cups is also long winded and the seven of swords can really take the wind out of you. So we, this is a lot about wind that I have going on here. So let's go ahead and look at the next immediate incoming um, energy for you. The next phase of this or the next step into this and see what we have here. So I'll put these cards out in the manner that they um, were, they were shuffled. And we'll see what we have here. Let me get a drink because I am a bit parched after that. Okay. So first of all, we have the two of wands. We have the world energy. We have the six of wands and the fool. Then we have the knight of swords, the four of cups and the four of swords. 
So the first energy I'm going to start with is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is in the middle of the sec of the last row or the second row. And I um, have found for me it's useful to, um, in my way that I read, to consider this energy, the overarching energy over this whole next project. This is an energy or the whole next phase. Or yeah, it could be a project exactly. It could be a new project that you're starting. It could be a new phase. It could be a new step into your journey that you're having. But it is the next part of this for you. So with the Four of Cups, we talk about here some opportunities and options that you have around you or that you have been led to or that you have been connected with or that you have connected yourself to. Because again, I see some very active energies here. This means that you haven't been sitting back, that you have been stepping forward or you're going to be stepping forward is what I should say into a very active period of time. Um, with the Four of Cups energy, it talks about a feeling of um, being discouraged, maybe even being bored of what's been in front of you in the past. It's an energy that you're stepping out of. So this is an energy of a period of time that you're stepping out of because it is over the top of the world energy and over the top of the Six of Wands, right? With the world energy, it talks about um, endings and new beginnings, new births, new beginnings of of different uh, experiences that you have, and it's an expansive energy. So sometimes with the world energy, um, you're not quite sure of what you're stepping into. You're not quite sure of the doorway, um, is, of what's in, beyond the doorway, and you're not even sure if you can open the doorway all the way, right? So the world is is that in itself. It is the beginning of something. So there is a new energy here with the Four of Cups, and it, and it is stepping into where this um, discouraged and kind of kind kind of painful waiting that I feel here. It's a, it's a painful waiting that you've been in. And I think that this might even be something that has come to you maybe from a different direction or come to you in a different way. So it's maybe something that you haven't thought of before, whatever you're stepping into. It's maybe something you haven't thought of before. Maybe it's been something that you've ignored. Maybe it's been something that has been there for some time and you just haven't seen it. It's going to be different for each and every one of you, each and every one of us that's here, me included at this table. Um, but it is something that tells me this card in the middle of the bottom row tells me that it's an energy that you have been in and it's an energy that you're going to be moving out of. And I think that's really exciting to be moving out of the Four of Cups energy. Now, we begin at the beginning with the Two of Wands. Um, the Two of Wands is an energy of making a choice about how to do something, about where to go or what to do or which actions to take. It's an energy that's there after you have found clarity. So it's an energy that brings you into action. This can be a scary time. This can be a hard time. It doesn't have to be scary. For some of us, it's scary. Um, but for some of us, it could just be a time that really creates the need to... Um, it really creates the need to take it, take time to determine what the game plan is. Maybe writing things down on paper to see, okay, what is the better action to take? What is the better way to move? What is the better long-term decision? Um, when well, I was going through, through struggles in my life that were not now, but years ago, I would always think, is this going to matter in five years? Is this going to matter in two years? What is going to make the bigger difference in my life? And where will I um, where can I see myself being in two years or in five years? Is this a battle that I need to fight? Is there a better way to do this? Is there a better way to make this choice? The two of wands is all about making a choice and it's making a choice to take action and how to take action and which action to take. So it's all about action, but there is thinking involved. There is some clarity to be found as well, because there needs to be clarity about how you will take action and what action you will take. So over the top of that, we have the Knight of Swords energy. So that tells me that there is some urgency here for you to decide. And that's really always a hard place to be, Pisces, sometimes, is when we need to take when we need to take some time to really decide how best to do something, but then there's urgency with the Knight of Swords. Now, there could be somebody coming towards you or messages coming towards you that are urging you to move forward. There could be people that are influencing you to move forward. Just remember, Pisces, that you and you alone are going to be on this journey, even if you're married, even if you are coupled with someone, right, in a partnership with someone. Maybe you're in a business with someone. It doesn't have to be a romantic partnership. It can be a business partnership, or it could be some sort of organization that you're partnering with. 
Um, you could be receiving some sort of urgency or messages of urgency from these people. And I just would like to remind you that you and you alone are responsible for yourself. So it is the utmost importance for you to understand why is the urgency there? What is the reason for the urgency? Is the urgency important to you? Is the urgency going to make a difference? Or is this an urgency that is coming from someone else's desire for it? So there's a need here. If you have this urgency in this decision for you to really realize why is the urgency here? Is it an urgency to pay attention to and to adhere to? Or is it an urgency to, um, to block or to put a boundary up against? Because this, again, is your choice and this is important for you. I think you've learned with the Queen of Wands energy that you and you alone will pay your bills. You and you alone will do what's necessary for you in your personal life. And I think that's part of the Queen of Wands energy. So just a reminder here, if there's an urgency here for you to make a choice about something new that you're doing, just to re be reminded that it is um, important for you to be careful now because you're at the creation point and it's important to create exactly what you um, wish to and what will be the most appropriate and the most beneficial for you in the long term. Now, Skipping over to the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is an exciting energy. And next to the Six of Wands is a Fool. Over the top of the Six of Wands and the Fool is a Four of Swords. So these are some energies that are kind of not all the way cohesive, are they? Some of them with the Four of Swords, this is, this is another Four energy, and we have two Fours next to each other. This is an energy of resting. It's an energy of finding guidance from above whatever your belief system is to tune into that and find guidance with that this is also the energy of alignment to find balance with yourself to spend some time in quiet and to find stillness of mind because there is um, an underlying energy or an overriding energy however you want to say it of passionate movement forward and stepping out in a new way and doing something you haven't ever done before so these are two energies that are kind of going against each other and this is how it is oftentimes when we're in the creation stage of something, when we're building something, when we're deciding to do something new. So the I think as you move forward, you're going to be moving out of this energy of stillness, of the energy of deciding, of the energy of finding answers, finding clarity, um, doing more research. You're going to be moving out of that phase, finding answers for yourself and stepping forward in a new way. So this phase could take a little while. Um, we do have some, st we have some still energies here with the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. We also have some urgent energy here with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. And we clearly have new beginnings with the World and the Fool and the Two of Wands. So there are actually three different energies here, if you want to look at it that way. You're having some kind of pressure, which whether you're pressuring yourself or other people are pressuring you. And you're also having the, uh, the um, realization that you're absolutely stepping into something new. And then you're also having this energy that you're leaving, which is an energy of stillness, um, quiet, um, really taking time to look at different things and moving out of an energy of um, healing and finding um, connection with the best opportunities for you. So it's, it's almost in, in a way reframing yourself. Um, so this will be a time for you that will maybe take a little while um, to move through these energies, but it is an exciting period of time. And I think um, you're moving out of a, a period that is has been harder. I think as you move into this period of time, it's going to have more flow. So if you like flow, if you like movement, if you like doing something new, I think this group, many of you do, because these are positive energies here with the Six of Wands and the Fool. They're in the upright and they're positive. So this group of you likes to flow and you like to do something new and you like to feel that inspiration uh, of a creational moment. So... I, I think that it's going to be um, moving forward now in a much more um, exciting time, although you might have some kind of pressure. So again, um, this is long winded and I think you've understood now what, what I'm about to say, what I, what I have said. And now we're going to move into the guidance and you will see now what I'm about to say. So let's go ahead and see what the guidance is here that's coming forward for us. All right, so we have the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands here. So this is the guidance that we have. We're talking about the Hierophant, and this is 
more of a mastermind energy. It's an energy of, of mastering one's own self and what the belief system is. It is an energy of learning how to incorporate um, belief systems that perhaps were not always there for you or that you had not always connected in. And this can be a belief system of a company. It can be a belief system of, of a community. It can even be a belief system of a religion or of a religious organization. It does not mean that you have to take on other belief systems, but it does mean that you will um, probably need to have a greater understanding of, of a more expansive, um, it's a more expansive feeling of and and it's a more it's it's a feeling of tolerance for other belief systems perhaps is what I may want to say. Um, it, it this card is about belief and about how you um, deal with how you cooperate how you mesh with other people other communities other belief systems how you get along with other people how you learn to. Um, walk with them even though you may not believe everything that they believe it's an energy of cohesiveness among community and among the workplace so it's a really beautiful energy next to the higher font is the ace of wands and the ace of wands is a passionate energy it's an energy of new action new ideas um, new passionate movement and um, when we say new ideas new ideas can be very passionate so this is something that is coming in and it is coming in, in in a way that lights you up, that lights you on fire, that wants you to, once there's an urgency here for you to move forward and to take action and do something different in your life. It's passionate. It does not always have to be a new job. It does not always have to be a new, um, a new relationship, but it is something that fills you with fire, fills you with the desire to take action and move you forward in a new way, doing something that really brings um, the sparkle to your eyes and lights your face and your smile up and really brings out a new version of yourself. And so I think this is going to be a, an exciting time period for you. And this is just guidance to allow yourself to experience this, to not um, to feel empowered in this and to allow yourself to um, move forward with this energy and try to guide the gas pedal of your car or the gas pedal of your motorcycle or to pedal your bicycle in a way that moves with the energy um, rather than to um, hit it uh, hit up against it as as most often we do and i can do that sometimes too so let's go ahead and um, end this reading here uh, I will be moving into the extended where we'll be looking at the people who may be around you and we'll also be taking this scenario out three energies or three phases into, into the future. So we'll be taking this um, scenario out into three phases, into three different um, time frames for you. All right. Thank you all for being here. It is a pleasure to read for Pisces. You are one of my most enjoyable signs to read for. Um, you have a beautiful energy and it's always an honor to be in your in your energy. Thank you, Pisces.